First Class makes it easy for you to create and address new messages. If you are inside a conference where you are able to make contributions, simply click on the New button on the toolbar and a new message will be created with the To address already filled in. If you are in your mailbox and click on the New button, you need to enter the address or addresses in one of the different two type fields. First Class makes addressing messages extremely easy. There are three different types of addresses that you can use in a message. You can address an email to someone in your contacts folder, to someone or a conference that is in your First Class directory, or to an external internet address. Let's take a look at all three options. If you are addressing a message to someone who you have in your contacts folder, or to someone who is in your first class directory, you can simply start by entering just part of the person's name. If you pause typing or press enter or tab, you'll be presented with a number of matches to choose from. Here we see that we have what looks like four matches. First class will always display your contacts folder matches first, and you can tell by the unique icon. In this case, we find that our contact, Frank Alberts, has two email addresses. I can choose whichever one I want by double-clicking. I can continue to add more entries on this same line, so for example, I can address this same message to Frank Smith, a staff member. I can use the CC field to copy someone else on this email, but I'm not going to make them direct recipients. In this case, I'm going to send a CC to someone outside of the system, so I will enter an internet address. So far we have three recipients in this message. Finally, I would like to send a blind carbon copy to the Staff Discussions Conference. To reveal the BCC field, you can choose Show BCC from the View menu. All I have to do is enter the word Staff, and since there is a unique match, it will auto-complete the address. You may wonder why I'm using blind carbon copy. The reason is that recipients of this message will never see the Staff Discussions Conference in their received email. Thus, when they reply to a message, there will be no chance of the reply going to the Staff Discussions Conference. Each address type has its own unique icon. When you've completed your subject and body of your message, you can click on the Send button to send the message.